Good morning, I hope you're doing well today. Uh, Jed and I are just having a home day, I think, today. Surprise, surprise, in lockdown, basically. Um, so I thought I'd just do a little bit of a vlog of what we're getting up to and also show you a couple of little um, extra ideas for entertaining a two-year-old. We did a video a couple of days ago about a little caravan that we made. If you want to check that out, I'll link it above. So Jed at the moment is just playing with Hi darling. Playing with um, my Sylvanian family's house that I dug out from storage a couple of days ago. Um, so he's having a little fun with that. I'm just doing some washing now and going to do a yoga or Pilates workout on the TV just from YouTube. Um, apart from that, so today is Friday the 3rd of April. Usually I do um, like cleaning and chores on Friday so I will probably just do that and little bits in between. And I have to duck out at some point to go to a quick appointment at the hospital. So, um, better make the bed first things first. You're going to help me make the bed? Yeah. Oh, cool. Thank you. And um, I will check in again soon. little yoga session is done and now I'm going to set up a little craft activity for Jed so I got this idea from another youtuber that I follow Trey Chic Mama I'll link her below but this is something he might be a little bit too young for this so we'll just have to, to find out but let me just show you what I need to do set this up down here I'm going to draw, I'm going to attempt to draw a car. I'm not the best drawer. Oh. But it just needs to be a really simple outline of something that they like. And just do some wheels. Oh, I want to go up a bit. I'm going to give this to you in a second. Okay, so I think. Do you know what this is, Jody? Oh. Ah, good. Okay. Well, as long as you know, then that passes the test. Okay. I want the pizza. I want the set. Okay, so we're just going to. 
I'm gonna blue tack this to the table for you so it's so it doesn't move around. Put your car down. Now I have some stickers. So we have some stickers. Yeah. Some little dots. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you see yourself? Okay, now mm. you just get the dots and you just put them along where the black line is, okay? Like this. That's right, and just put them all the way. Good, all the way along the car. A yellow one? Yeah. Let me tuck you in a bit. That's great. Good job putting them on the line, Jed. What colour next? Yellow? Lovely. Yes, yellow. You like the yellow ones? Nice. You are doing a great job there. We're going a bit rogue now with our sticker dots, but never mind. <laughs> it looks great. Okay, so our car is done. And now Jetty's uh, making this picture for his cousin's birthday. So I just drew a picture of a flower and we're gonna color it in for Charlotte. Can you say, happy birthday, Charlotte? Happy birthday, Charlotte. There we go. We're going to send this in the post today. Shall we? Would you like another colour? Okay. Which colour would you like? Yellow. Yellow? Okay. Oh, it's tough. Here we go. Let me help. There you go. There's the yellow. I'm finished. You're finished. Little blue, little blue. We're going to put out the washing. Jed is carrying the pegs. It's very helpful. Out we go. Mummy, how is it? Uh, do you want to pop it on the ground for a second and then step outside? Yep, and then you can. Good. Are you going surfing? No, I'm not, I, I'm not going surfing. <laughs> <laughs> Had to chuck my hair up, it's pretty hot today. Um, so I'm just starting to do some cleaning now. And I usually just let Jed play around me and give him a little dry sponge or piece of paper towel and he helps me, don't you, Debbie? You help me to clean? Yeah! They uh, come! Oh, okay. It's not always the easiest. Um, but we get it done. I have actually made a video on how to keep on top of house cleaning with a toddler or with a child so i'll link that above i'm not sure if that will be coming out before this one or after but i'll link it and you can have a look at that if you're interested we've got to do these toes all the clean Getting really in all the nooks and crannies. That's good. Just about to do another little craft activity. Jed's been quite moody today. 
Yes. So I'll show you how to do this. One. So this is called a sticky wall. And you just need to get a roll of clear contact and cut it into a square like this. And then, so, just get the scissors and on the contact side, you sort of scrape an outline in a square or roughly. Um, try not to cut all through the paper like I did, but just to mark it so that you can peel away some of the contact. Okay, well, I've lost my little tripod thing, so I'm just going to try and demonstrate this as best as I can. But um, I'll put this over here. So, after you've cut your square in the contact, and put some blue tack in the corners, and, and then you're going to peel away the contact. Okay, so you, stick, you peel away the square in the middle and then this bit is all sticky. So what we've done before is cut bits of paper and tissue paper and stick them on the wall. And I've got some pom-poms here. Jetty, do you want to start to stick the pom-poms on the wall? And my mum gave me this uh, spare magazine, so I'm going to find some pictures that Jed likes that he can stick on the wall as well. So you're going to start with the pom-poms, Jed? Yes. Good idea. Do you want the draw? Uh, that one That's fabulous. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so we might just leave these pom-poms here. And then throughout the day, if you want to come back and put some more on the wall, you can, okay? Sound good? Yep. I think we might get some lunch ready now. Are you getting hungry for lunch? Yep. Hello, okay, so I've just arrived at my um, hospital appointment. I'm like five, ten minutes early, so I'm just going to end this vlog here. Um, Jed was having quite the melt down before I left reasons unknown but wasn't too sad to have to leave the house <laughs> leave Jed to Lindsay to deal with lunch and stuff so but he just sent me a message he's happily eating lunch now so all's well that ends well I uh, I was going pretty pretty well with everything until I had a bad day a couple of days ago when it they changed the um conditions and it's sort of like much tighter now which is good don't get me wrong i think it's a really really good thing but um i think it's sort of a case of it it's it, you cope okay with sort of we were we were self-isolating but then someone tells you you have to really crack down on it and then it then it becomes when someone tells you you have to it sort of felt very restrictive all of a sudden and I just had a little bit of a freak out day moment of oh my god how are we going to do this for months type thing so I had a little bit of a tough day but um I think that it's just important to keep trying to make the best of the situation um, and just it is what it is so we have to just uh, keep on keeping on at the same time it's okay to have a bad day I think we're all gonna have some bad days in this thing and I think that it's fine to acknowledge that and give yourself the space to have a bad day but then sort of know that you like to got to pick it up because it is what it is and yeah it's just this weird situation nobody really knows how to deal with it properly but all in all we have been doing okay and I'm really happy it's Friday and it's weekend time so my face just looks enormous no matter what way I point the camera these days just 
my face got really big and puffy last time pregnancy with Jed so I just have to I don't know there's nothing that can be done yeah we're we're not officially on lockdown here in where I'm in northern New South Wales we're not officially on lockdown but the restrictions are sort of like when you're outside of the house you have to you can't like meet up with more than one person type thing like they're very tight as I said that is a good thing but it's almost like and and the retail shops haven't officially been shut down but nobody's going to the retail shops again good so a lot of them are shut um, so it's sort of like we are on lockdown but they're not officially using the term lockdown I appreciate that because it means that we can still go out to wide open spaces at the beach there's plenty of spaces around here we can do that to still get um, you know that escape from being stuck inside and that is very important so very grateful for that anyway uh, the time is nearly 20 past so I'm gonna have to go in and figure out where I'm going for this appointment and I will see you in the next video thank you for watching bye